Hello everyone, uh, this is my 5x5 five five tutorial. I will teach you how to solve one of these. I'm also going to be teaching two different methods for the edges. So um, this will be a long tutorial for that reason and of course for the reason that 5x5s uh, five five take forever to solve and therefore they take forever to explain. So uh, brace yourselves for a long tutorial. I'll make it as to the point as I can and uh, let's get right started. So there are three main brands of 5x5. Five five. There's actually a ton of brands of 5x5, five five, but um, there's three main brands, and I'll go over those really quick. First, we have the Rubik's brand, which is what most people have. Um, the first thing you'll notice about the Rubik's brand is it's very large, and it's very heavy. And although most people think those are negative traits, um, I'm here to tell you that not necessarily, because my hands are very large, and uh, the Rubik's 5x5 fits my hands much better than the Ishin 5x5 does. The Ishin moves a lot better. Out of the box is how it moves very nicely. The Rubik's takes a lot of breaking in to move that nicely. Um, the main drawback, however, of the Ishin is that it locks up a lot, even on simple turns. And you'll spend a lot of time fighting lockups on this thing. So for that reason, I have retired this Ishin 5x5. I don't really solve it anymore. I like my Rubik's. Okay, so um, there's also a third brand called the V-Cubes 5x5, the V5. And it's supposed to be the best of all. I don't have one, but everyone that I've talked to absolutely loves it. So anyways, those are the brands. Enough about that. Let's get into the uh, solution. So... Um, the solution we're going to be using is the reduction method for the 5x5. This is going to be very similar to my 4x4 tutorial. So, um, if you've seen that video, this will be really easy for you. Okay, so, the way this method works, if you don't already know, we're going to solve the centers, we're going to solve the edges, and then we're going to solve it as if it were a 3x3. Three three. So basically, we're reducing the 5x5 five five into a 3x3 three three solve. And that's where, the, that's where the method gets its name from, reduction. Alright, so let's start off with the centers. We're going to do centers, edges, and then solve it like normal. Okay, so I always start with the white center. Um, unless I see something that looks really, really easy on another side. And I don't. So I'm going to start with white. And the way you get a center is, um, generally, you get the middle strip, and then you get the two wing strips. And, and by a strip, I just mean a row of three. And you get them all together, and you'll have the entire center. So I'll always start with the white, um, the white center, and you start by getting the middle strip. Um, so get the one strip, and then start building other strips. This one, match that up, and then one more. And, um, place it in like that. Then go directly opposite to the opposite center, which in my case is yellow, and um, keep on going. The middle strip, start getting wing strips, and of course you got to keep restoring the bottom, that should go without saying, and uh, you finish it off. Now, this is a trick that you probably already know, but um, obviously on a 5x5 five five or any big cube, when you're doing centers, you can't just move the last center in like this, because what happens is it wrecks the bottom. So what you have to do is, rather than putting it directly into the spot in front of it, you got to place it indirectly into this spot over here. So what we're going to do is just line up with what's already there, move it up, do a U2, uh, bring it to the opposite side, and bring this back down. When you bring this back down, it's going to restore both the uh, uh, both the white and the yellow. So that's how you get. Um, that's a trick you'll need to use a lot for when you're trying to get a center when there's already centers done. All right. So then I'll just do whatever colors in front of me because on a five by five, uh, the color scheme fixes itself. Uh, the centers are fixed, and therefore you can't have um, you can't have the situation where you put colors next to the wrong colors, like on a 4x4. So I'll just do whatever centers in front of me, 
And I'm not really explaining this as I go because this is very self-explanatory. Um, and we eventually come to the last two centers. Now, the last two centers, a lot of people have a lot of trouble with this. So I'm going to give you a few examples. Last two centers isn't actually that hard, but um, you know it seems really intimidating. What you're trying to do is look for pairs. Now, just pick up what color stands out the most. Obviously, right here, uh, red stands out more than green to me. So I'm just going to try to get pairs in red. I'm looking for all the red pairs. I see this one here, this one here, and this one here, and this one here, I guess. And um, basically, I'm just try trying to make blocks out of those. So this is the red center, so I'm trying to build a block off the red center. And the easiest way to do that is to start by moving this pair in and get part of a block there. And then I can move this pair in, extend the block. And now, at this point, where I have this... Um, Two by three by three block. I just gotta get a strip of red and then place it in here. Just like that. It'd be kind of tricky, but um, you'll just get used to it. How about this situation where we have? Um, well, I see these strips over here, and uh, not really any pairs, but that's okay. I'm trying to build off of this. I'm gonna do orange this time. So. Um, Start building blocks just by you know tacking stuff onto it, and then I can do that. And um, hmm, well, I'm trying to get it up here. So what I'm going to do is get it there, and then do that sort of thing, and finish it off. For this case, again, just looking for pairs. Um, I see this pair here, and I'm going to try to get that with this red center. So build that up, and um, again, and now we're just about done already. There. That seemed like a lot of moves, but you know. Alright, so that's just about it for part one. If you want to see the rest of it, check out part two. I got a link in the description. And if you want to support my channel, rate this video. Thanks a lot, guys.